with while Doorstop really does a good job of uh, of being aggressive and covering her options. Do you know during their teams if Doorstop will play Pokemon Trainer or Zero Suit Samus? Zero Suit Samus. He okay. will most certainly go Zero Suit. All right. Well, I'm excited because I love watching Zero Suit Samus. Also, if you haven't seen Worry play Diddy Kong, get ready for a ride. Oh, I, I am not familiar. So okay. Well, I, this I, is going to be a trip. Also, Pneumatic is an incredibly talented player as well. I, I, I have seen the fattest level ups ever, I think, between Pneumatic and Oofgobo. Mm -hmm. And Pneumatic playing Jigglypuff and getting that, oh. definitely incredible. They're doing this to get desync. They okay. had five players. Okay, okay. I got it. Yeah. So we, we'll we be right back, folks. After these messages. I don't know if that's going to mess up the stream or not, to yeah, be honest. Tekken 7. Okay, Station no. We're 39. good. I think. For clarification... Losers and singles will stay where they started. All right, we'll Medic, your match is now going to be on station 39. Okay, I see a pneumatic on the setup. Buddy, no way. <laughs> Can I get eggs and shock on station 13? Diddy Kong and Jigglypuff versus Zero Suit Samus and Zelda. Two blonde babes. Interesting. This is the Dixie Kong skin. Yeah. I'm so interested to see how this is going to play out. Uh, if it goes the way I think it's going to go, I, I'm not even sure where. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to say anything because I really don't know where this is going to go. Yeah. So. Here we go. Oh, oh. All right. You know, I kind of wonder. Oh, my goodness, dude. I got I to gotta wonder. Does... Worry know that Worry's got the Crusher tag going on right now? Is that not his tag? No, Crusher was last game. Uh, uh, Crusher I'm not, was the Roy last game, so I really don't know. I'm not sure, but he's doing very well with it on. He doesn't look like he looks very uh, fluent with this tag, so I assume that it's the same controls. Maybe uh, we'll find out it's not. I might. Hey, Austin, uh, one, game, butter I one, one thing. To stay on the Crusher tag. Okay, so sorry, sorry. first stock being lost by uh, Already, Medic. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, not yeah, super yeah, surprising right. there. Jigglypuff, okay. extremely light. She's going to have to have uh, work Crusher. Oh, back there for okay. now. Right. Let's make it true. All right, so we got, the, we got the details. It looks like that is the same controls that Worry uses. So uh, it's, I think it's a group of them that all use the same controls, so they'll just use the same tag if they're all up on the same setup at once. Right. So, we got one stock taken down from everybody except for Worry. And, oh, okay, Dash Attack is okay. going to take it. And, I, and I've played against Tux and Friendlies early, and I realized that how powerful Zelda's Dash Attack actually is. Oh, so, yeah. able to take that stock really well. Yeah, Zelda, one of those characters that just kind of has kill power littered throughout her kit. Just a lot of, uh, of really strong moves that can connect into themselves quite easily. Uh, yeah, and Zelda's mix-ups, especially with throws and uh, platform play, is very, like, very pinnacle. I think if you're gonna excel as a Zelda. But here in doubles, it's a little different. Oh no, Fort smashing! So door one, stop, putting them at one stock each now. So one thing I've already noticed, and what's re relatively surprising to me, is that it seems on this team with uh, Worry and Pneumatic that New is is much more the aggressor, while Crusher seems to be uh, playing much more of a laid back. Grab banana and try to support him. Yeah, kind try of and get a conversion and maybe connect into something else that uh -huh. uh, in, into one of Pneumatic's more aggressive options afterwards. Mm -hmm. Just kind of trying to stay aware of what uh, the partner's doing while also maintaining See, any versatile so option that you have available in Diddy Kong's kit. Which I, this actually seems really good because Puff has the ability in the corner to just leap. You know, she can just go off stage and hang out for a while, which gives Worry all the time that he needs to get his resources and then come back into play. Yes, and now and now we have just Doorstop, very talented player, but in a 2v1 situation where one of the players is a Diddy Kong with two stocks, very worrisome situation to be stuck with whenever there's a Jigglypuff hovering over your head constantly. Right. If he that is it. That is, has to be a yeah, Rage Diddy yeah. Kong. 114% on zero yeah. suits. That's going to take game one. So, do you think we're going to see a stage change? I think we could. I don't know what stage it would be other than maybe forward. Battlefield. Because I think Triplats would benefit just about every character on the screen. 
<laughs> so I, they might leave it open off of a band? All right. Okay, so it looks, it looks like that's exactly where we're going. Yeah, I think I was about to say, I think this is really good for any player that's on the screen right now. I know that Zelda benefits, like I said, from platform play and being able to get any conversion off of grabs. And then also, Diddy Kong has platform setups that they can get with Banana, as well as a few different coverage options having platform above them. Jigglypuff, uh, you can get a few different up air to rest setups, and I think sometimes it relies on being able to use Battlefield platforms to get it. And Zero Suit Samus can ladder. Yeah. So getting any one of those things at Battlefield has to be a benefit for all of them. Your genius is showing. Stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> But here Anyways. we go, in the game two, uh, let's see if uh, Doorstop and Emma can make the adjustments necessary. Uh, a, a big thing about just this team that they have going on, Pneumatic and, and uh, Worry, that is, is, you know, Diddy has such great control over the ground with Banana. Jigglypuff obviously having great vertical control uh, be between her mobility. So uh, it, it seems pretty tough for, uh, for Doorstop and Emma because it, they're just having a tough time gaining control in general. Right now having stage control though. Yes, and I noticed that like the percents are staying about the same this game, a little different than last game, where Diddy Kong basically stock tanked most of the time while uh, Pneumatic had to play the aggressor and ended up taking a lot more damage and even losing stocks before uh, Worry did. Oh, and the sweet spot forward air. And the okay. Very, very good cleanup. They were so concerned with Doorstop out of shield that they totally missed Emma coming down with that fair. And then Doorstop just capitalizes on the on the madness. Uh, great job from both of them. Let's yeah. see how, if they can try to extend on this lead before losing their stocks. Yeah, very good situational awareness that now gave them a lead. And now we're looking to see, okay, oh, coast to coast to back air from Pneumatic killing Zero Suit Very, Samus. very smart edge guard there to know that it would kill on the other side of the stage. Yeah, and you know, I wonder if he wasn't anticipating that killing all the way over there and maybe accidentally DI'd in that direction, which could have influenced his death yeah. as well. Yeah. But we'll never know unless we ask them, and we could after this set, depending on how this goes. But, oh, very good. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that that's actually pretty tragic. Um, I, uh, Emma actually double jumped into that back here. Yeah. She, yeah, the rings came out. She could have got out of that, but uh, picked the wrong option there and going to lose her stock for it. Yeah, she, thought, she did not skip leg day <laughs> before, <laughs> before, at least not this week before this tournament. I've seen, I don't know how many back here kill now. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's and almost, okay. Great oh! conversion, very, very good that's awareness it. from doorstop to get that punish uh, with the uh, short hop down air off of ledge. What a what a micro interaction to have to suffer as well. Mm -hmm. Like one that just, could, like, as soon as doorstop saw, he was just like, all right, short hop down air. He said that in a moment in his head and ended up taking the stock forward as well. Were are we doing a point blank peanut gun? That couldn't have been a, uh, that had to be a misinput. Um, Okay. But here we go. This is not looking well. Just as I say that, uh, pneumatic and worry able to take stage control. Can I get hard data? God, doubles is such a riot. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, there's literally it's like controlled chaos. Yeah, the yes. way that I was talking to somebody, they said it's controlled chaos. And what better way to describe it? Whenever there's so much happening already all at once, like you have to stay situationally aware of three different characters on the screen. One of them you're not allowed to hit. Yeah, the game state is constantly changing, uh, way more frequently than in singles. Okay, fourth throw from Pneumatic, almost set up something for Worry, but uh, ended up landing a little too quickly to the ground for Worry to be able to punish it. Okay, gonna eat the punish. Oh, that was a good mix-up. Yeah. It looks like a little bit of a miscommunication between Doorstop and Emma. I yeah. think that Doorstop was trying to throw uh, wor Worry into Emma, and she, you know, she just had a bit of a miscommunication. Uh, not going to convert there. But right now, right now they do have stage control. Emma opting to. Okay, there's the help. Okay. They're looking really good right now, holding center stage. Worry's movement with Diddy Kong in singles and not alone is already like immaculate. Uh -huh. But. Now I'm, I'm getting to see what that ends up doing for like the teamwork between him and Pneumatic and doubles. And I wonder if you have to, you have to change your awareness in order to be, able to be able to move the same way or at least at the same amount of like caliber to make this work for you like towards your victory. Because now you have two players you have to move around, so change, I imagine right, you have to change a little bit. For Tekken 7. Oh, a fourth Sly row? That was an, uh, I believe that was up there. Station 42 uh, for Tekken 7. 
slide. But yeah, now he got a 2v1. Side. This is actually very doable for Crusher. He does have, well, I Crusher. Oh, that's it? Worry. Yeah, Banana oh. got to cover. And now this is very doable. He just has to be patient and wait out the uh, the neutral B. The failed forward air punish. It was yeah. what set this all up. Fantastic uh, catch off of the uh, parry there from Worry. Oh, there it oh, is. Oh, there it is. But unfortunately, just gets a back air. I don't know if he had faith. Right. Oh, okay. Great Good Z, Z drop the forward yeah, air. Z drop fair. What's the ledge trap? Just not really much. Just Another gonna one. dash back and react with a uh, Z drop back air. That is a fresh banana. Up, up smash, up gonna smash take it. Is able to punish that up B from the inside. And we have Worry and Pneumatic gonna move on. Uh, what, how far into the bracket are we? Uh, this is top eight. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that was an up smash victory. And now we got 